Hello Geminis, this is your April 2019 love reading. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. Thank you guys for coming to support me and um, I really appreciate it. Okay, so what we're going to do is a Celtic cross face down for our monthly. Let's see, what messages do we have for Gemini? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. What messages do we have for Gemini? That card wanted to come out. Let's see if it jumps again. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Let's see the energy that's around you guys. What's challenging you this month? Underlying issue there. Let's see, the recent past. All right, we'll take that one. <clears throat> the best possible outcome here, or what you guys would like to see happen. Look at that, flipped over in the deck. Ten of Cups there. Okay, very good. Okay, didn't see those. We're going to move these down a little bit here. We can get them all in the frame. All right, so let's see what's coming in for you guys here. How you're viewing this situation. What's influencing this situation here? Your hopes or fears is here. And the overall is there. All right. So, let's jump right into this. What's going on around you guys currently is the Seven of Cups. I feel like there is definitely a level of confusion. Um, I'm feeling like there's something that you guys want. You don't really know how to acquire it. Um, and you really don't know for sure how you feel about it. Okay? Not really knowing exactly what it is um, in its entirety what you want. I'm thinking that there's there's a few things that's on the table and you haven't quite decided um, you know what takes precedent what what is priority number one okay and let's see what is challenging you guys here is the seven of swords energy okay doing what's best for you strategizing maybe having to um, leave something behind okay something that you really know the truth surrounding okay leaving that leaving that behind and moving forward okay knowing what you know and just moving on all right guys so that's what's challenging you there's something I feel like you guys have learned about something that you want There's something that you have learned, but it's like you're having a hard time moving forward with that. And I'm feeling like definitely you want the Ten of Cups. Definitely you want a committed, um, loving relationship. Something that has everything in it. Okay? Everything in it for you. But there's a need to look at, really, you know, acknowledge and look at the truth of this situation and actually doing what you feel, what you feel is best for you. Two sevens here. This is all about what's best for you. What it is that you want. All right, guys? So that's number one here. So the underlying issue in this situation is a five of wands. Again, like I said, I'm, I'm feeling like you guys have not really made a decision here. You kind of go back and forth in your head about, um, about the situation. How to acquire what you want. But if you notice that there's one person that is over here that's not involved in throwing sticks. <laughs> okay? So, what I'm getting from this is that you guys know exactly how to stabilize the situation, okay? You know exactly what to do. I'm, I'm getting that you, you guys are just not wanting to um, see something here, okay? You're holding yourself back from doing something is what I'm getting. Leo energy there. 
you're holding yourself back from doing something okay now in the recent past we have Scorpio Aquarius Piscean energy here as well in the recent past we have the fool now we have Aries here okay in the recent past there's something that you stepped out on faith on there's also something that I feel like you guys feel like you made a mistake surrounding there's something that you feel like you made a mistake surrounding here but you know maybe some of you actually felt like the grass was greener on the other side and felt like you wanted to like really open up your options, explore your options. Okay? But now I'm feeling like you, you you're feeling like that's no longer what it is that you want. There's something that you've realized here. And you're wanting to move forward. You're wanting to move away from that energy. I'm feeling like there's one thing that you want now. This is a relationship here. Could be an Aries or Pisces individual. Okay, could also be somebody with Aquarius in their chart. What's coming in for you guys is a page of wands. I feel like definitely starting something new, venturing out, um, showing interest in something. Okay, definitely showing interest in something here. Um, possibly, you know, you guys are, are have planted a seed and you're waiting to hear something, or either this is you guys actually going on um, I don't want to say an exploration because what I'm feeling more of is like you kind of checking out some scenery or checking out a situation you know with an individual fire individual fire sign energy okay again young energy Aries Piscean energy here possibly okay how you're looking at this situation is the Queen of Pentacles this is how you're viewing this situation. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know. This always happens with you guys, I feel, when I get choked up. Um, you guys, Tars and um, Scorpios. But, um, <coughs> excuse me. You guys are very resourceful. Okay. Number one. Um, I get, I'm thinking that there is definitely a situation that you guys are wanting to nurture. Okay. you you feel very emotional around a situation. I feel that, um, you guys are very loyal and I'm, I'm getting that there's a situation where you probably felt like either you guys weren't as faithful to someone or a situation as, as, you're not proud of that okay or you're not proud of how um, somebody is viewing you because you know the type of person that you are okay there's somebody that's been very loyal to you very faithful to you you believe and um, I'm getting that you guys want to return that reciprocate now Okay, with that Queen of Pentacles energy. What's influencing you guys is a Queen of Wands. There's that fire energy again. I'm feeling Aries or Leo here. Aries, Leo, Pisces energy. Okay. That you guys are definitely um, into. That you want to have a connection with. Could be a same sex relationship, does not have to be okay. But um, I'm getting that you guys are waiting to hear from this person, or you know, there's you're wanting to actually go to this person. I'm getting that you really don't know how to approach this individual, possibly, or um, or you you just want to approach it um, in a playful manner. Okay, this is somebody that's very fiery, very stern, um, stands their ground, okay? And this is somebody that takes care of shit, very attractive individual, I feel very mature, okay? Can be, can come across a little intimidating sometimes, I feel, okay? And your hopes and fears, hopes or fears, is the Ace of Cups, 
okay I'm feeling that you know you hope that you guys can start over and work your way to this ten of cups energy here the ace is the start you're hoping that this person I feel feels the same way about you as you do about them still okay your hope, your hope is that they are accepting of this love and that they still share um, those feelings of love or those, those, you know, that emotional tie with you guys, okay? And the overall, we have the Page of Pentacles. I'm feeling um, a conversation here. I'm feeling that you guys are definitely, you know, approaching this, this person, this situation with care. Okay, because you're coming here as a page of wands and the page of pentacles. Okay, I definitely feel like either an apology, um, maybe a proposal, not a proposal of marriage, but just, you know, to talk, to, you know, talk about things, to work on things, something of that nature. Because if you see the same dog here, this loyal, this loyal, faithful friend is in this card with this page of pentacles as here with the queen of pentacles okay but this is how you're viewing this situation but this is what's coming in april okay this is how you're approaching it actually your feelings and your approach are two totally different things because i feel that you guys um definitely want to Handle this with care. Okay, that's the best way I could put it. Okay, don't know what happened here, but um, that is what I have for you. And um, again, primarily Aries, Pisces, Leo energy. Scorpio's here. Aquarius is here. Could be another Taurus like yourself. Capricorn or Virgo um, energy as well. Okay, so that's what I have, guys. And I'll be speaking with you soon. Bye.